welcome to A Tech PCs. Make sure to subscribe now, y'all. That was seriously probably the most corniest intro I've ever done. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you've never seen me before, make sure to subscribe and leave that like. And welcome to the family. Let's get started with our awesome video of today. Hey guys, welcome back. So, we got some cool art, well, shit. Let's try that again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an awesome, exciting, cool, fantastic CPU cooler. Now, the funny thing is, is that this was actually sent to me two years ago, and I never got around to doing anything with it. Um, I'm not even sure what it fits, but I would, I, it's awesome looking. It, it's cool. Um, and if you shop around on Amazon and you've looked at computer parts on Amazon, especially CPU coolers, I know you are going to recognize it as soon as I remove this. It comes in like uh, an all blue and then like an RGB style. Of course, knowing me, I went with all blue and black, so mine lights up blue. And it's actually kind of a, a, a very hefty style CPU cooler. Man, this thing is heavy. You know, this is a really nice CPU cooler. I mean, I, I like it. Oh, shit. Uh, anyway, um, fix that. So, yes, CPU cooler. It's made by up here. It is a dual fan design, so you you have a, a, a push and pull. So one of the fans pushes air through while one of the fans blows the air out. So you have a push and a pull style. Um, hmm. I am curious how many... Wow. Eight, one, two, three, four. Four on each side, so that's an eight pipe. Well, it's four pipe, but it's it's been split into two on each side. So you have eight, you have eight tubes running on four on each side, eight total. And then it looks like that CPU cooler is pretty, like the aluminum in there. It looks pretty hefty. I mean, damn. I'm curious. Does this come apart? Surely this would have to come apart for maintenance, right? Huh. What's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. So, let's see what we got. Uh, this is the bracket, of course. And then it looks like it comes with some pushdowns and some pushdowns and some instructions. Now, since it comes with that bracket, that tells me that it does not fit newer newer PCs this probably fits older PCs and this is probably one of the reasons why I never got around to using it let's see here it says it'll fit a 470 wow that's pretty current I mean maybe I'm wrong for AMD whoa focus it always does that shit for AMD the distributor round shape bracket is not used and the bracket of the AMD motherboard can be directly fitted with the radiator hook. Oh, so they're saying just with, I guess, this configuration on it right here, it will just hook to AMD AM4. That's nice. Um, I don't think I have any AM4 boards, actually. Uh, I got rid of all mine. Went to Intel. Does it? What does it fit though? It doesn't really. Tell me what it fits. Well, that's kind of silly. That's like the most important thing. What does it fit? Well, all right. I guess I'm going to have to go online and do a little research and see what sockets this fit. And what I'll do is I'll just run them across the screen. Um, that way you just kind of get it. Clearly, it fits AM4. Clearly. Cut out. The inside of it is... See that? Like the inside of it's kind of solid. That's cool. That's to help uh, channel and tunnel the air through. 
and out through the other side. Man, I can't believe how nice this the heat sink is inside that thing. You know, this is a really nice CPU cooler. Uh, let's see here. What's all this shit? Um, let's see here. What we got we got going on here? We got a four pin. Oh, that's nice. So it's addressable. And a four pin. Now, why do I have... Oh, I got it. One for the RGB and one for the fan. That's exactly what that is. So... I've been sitting here talking about it for a few minutes. I'd kind of like to... <gasps> what is that? Is that a dent? No! <gasps> oh no, there's a dent in it. Oh no, when I dropped it. Fuck! When I dropped it, I put a dent in it. And it's right on top, too. Oh, man. But you know what? If, if I can disassemble this thing... If it does disassemble, I can just kind of go up on the other side of that and and pop it out. Oh, that sucks, dude. Dang, man. You can really see that thing, too. Like, no matter the angle, you can really see that dent. Damn, I didn't mean to drop it. Crap. <sighs> well, now what? Well, let's let's take it out to the shop and plug it up and see what it looks like all lit up. So we are out in the garage, and what I've done is I brought out a power supply, and I've set up two other models of CPU coolers. All right, and I kind of did that just to kind of give you like a comparison between this one and these other two. These other two is a Zelma Z8. Uh, right there, Zello Z8. This is a very nice uh, beginner to intermediate CPU cooler. It doesn't have a too high of a TDP. I think it's 120 or 95 or something like that. This is a higher end CPU cooler. This is an AGO. Uh, this is their full RGB model. Uh, this was probably about 70 to 80 bucks. Um, this thing has a real high TDP. It can go up to 220. So that will handle like your i7s and your i9s, or actually, I don't even think it'll fit an i9. Your i7s and your i5s. i5, i3, and this is AM4. And I'm assuming it can handle a Ryzen 3 and a Ryzen 5, but I'm not sure if it can handle a Ryzen 7. But I don't know, it is a pretty beefy, serious looking CPU cooler, so it probably could handle a right whoa so it probably could handle a ryzen 7 what we're do is we're going to go ahead and get our jumper switch out that plugs into here that allows us to use the power supply to power all of these especially this one over here look at the nightmare to this thing look at this this all goes to that it, it's it's ridiculous um in here is my box of adapters um i keep basically every type of fan connection adapter thing that i need see like this one this is a molex and it terminates to five pwms and then i have a five to a one i got splitters i got all kinds of awesome things in here it's just it's awesome y'all know y'all like it now if you are into computers you have got to get one of these all right you have to have one of these. These make your life so much easier. Oh my god, do they ever. Uh, unless if you're good and you know exactly where to stick these wires at. Um, but, I mean, it's six bucks for one of these. You can't go wrong with it. And it just, it plugs into the end of that. Makes life nice and easy. Got that put together. Looks good to me. And I'm just going to, let's see here, let me remove that real quick, take that out of the picture. Alright, so let's see here, what are we working with? We're working with two, three, uh, four, five, so I need five, five. Now, the question is, Will these fit? Because these are four pins, and this may only be a three pin. Uh, no, they're four pins. All right, cool. This will work. This is what we need. Good deal. Are you guys ready for this? Three, two, one. So there you guys have it. 
that thing, it looks cool. Um, especially with the all-around design, like, it looks cool. You could really go with, like, a Tron build or some type of device like that. Um, I mean, and, and the airflow of it. Wow. I mean, this thing is really moving some airflow. Really moving some airflow. But the air seems to be exiting out of the top of it. Instead of coming straight out, I feel like a lot of it is coming out this way and stuff. And then, of course, you have the more expensive one with all the fancy RGB and then the tower lights up on the side right here. Um, but you got to deal with like a whole bird's nest of wires like I showed you earlier. This one right here, super simple. One plug, that's it. One cable, one plug, that's it. But as you can see, it that's what you get with one plug. When you add four or five plugs to the mix, then you get this. And then if you just have two plugs, then you have this. But I can understand why this thing has two plugs. It does have two fans in it and I mean I, I really like it it's it's a nice CPU cooler I uh oh I think I just accidentally uh, disconnected it whoops well I think I said enough about it it's made by up here make sure to leave me a like make sure to subscribe and as always you guys be cool and I'll see you all in the next one I hope you guys like this video tell me in the comments Leave a comment, comment below, Titan Rig, comment below, alright, I'll see y'all later, y'all be cool, bye.